and with the combination of all of those factors together, led to a 10-year revolution that would entirely change the government of France. Okay, any questions? Any questions at all on anything that we've covered so far? Okay, well, continuing on. Uh, sure, question. Yes. Why we gotta learn about history when all these facts you spit and I can find by googling? Like, why I gotta know the dates of the French Revolution when I can't hop on my phone and type it in in two seconds? Okay, well, the moreover, your lesson's kinda boring me. Who cares about these wars and monarchies that came before me? I'ma take the next hour and catch up on some more. So you go on and ignore me. Wake me up if I'm snoring. Teach ya, teach ya, teach ya. A very good question, Daniel. Give me a, a couple seconds to think about that. <clears throat> Look, I get why you think history is kind of boring. We often don't put it in context to explain the importance. Giving you quizzes like which date, what year, which has no impact on your long-term career. I feel ya, but history ain't about knowing facts. It's about solving problems of today, where we're at and understand our grandparents' their impact on today. Learning from good ideas, not repeating mistakes. And maybe you're like, cool, what's this gotta do with me? Dude, you're the future of our entire species. With the freedom to read and to pass historic decisions, determine how to proceed so humanity progresses, my brother. You're a part of history this instant with the privilege of knowing how the past impacts the current you can see why past monarchies write it compare it to modern politics how do we dodge comparable problems so you want to make a change make a difference best learning from historic figures decisions like mr lincoln for instance was younger he'd be reading books about the fall of rome constitution bios of benjamin franklin then take a look at history's great ideas like inventions medicines new governments fighting for freedom and hear me the world needs new ideas and the best ideas come from younger people like you like what problem did edison solve with his invention of the light bulb Pick that motivation, find a problem, even a small one Spend some energy, press some main different solution to solve it It's good to remember human lives have changed rapidly Imagine living as a peasant in 14th century Working land all day, cold porridge, hot bed Scraping by, praying that you won't catch black death To 600 years later, now you're sitting in this class iPhone, Wi-Fi, texting friends with loading apps Not a worry in the world about a virus or a plague That's a short time for those experiences to change And your grandparents, even they've lived through a lot From world wars, preparing for atomic bombs to drop all those times played a part to shape your life it's a humbling reminder healthy up with the exercise so this is the moment to think about history differently how it affects your daily living think about it write about it compare it to the modern era respect your ancestors that probably had it harder than you open up your lens to a slew of new ideas to inspire start a movement with your friends that you believe in you're the generation take the world and make a difference honest history to make sure humanity progresses and i'm out so does that mean we can go or